Ooh, I just got powder in my throat. <coughs> Girl. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video. We are talking about a new powder and I'm really excited. I feel like I haven't, they were like, there's like powder launches, which I'm loving. I'm loving that there's more powders coming out. We are talking about the new Ami Cole powder and I'm really freaking excited to get into it. Um, the second it launched, I got like a ton of questions. Am I gonna review it? And like, girl, you know I will, I got your back. We are getting into the nitty gritty and I'm so excited. So we're gonna be reviewing the powder. We're also gonna be talking about it comparably to other powders that I've talked about on this channel that I love, that I want to let you know kind of where it lies with those. And I'm so freaking excited. So I kind of just wanna jump in and get started. I don't want this video to be super long and I feel like I talk a lot. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this Ami Cole powder review. All right, you guys, let's get into it. So this is the powder here. So this is the Ami Cole Skin Melt Loose Powder. I was so excited to see they were coming out with a setting powder just because I love Ami Cole products and I feel like they are just so dewy and hydrating looking and just give you like the most or just looking complexion. So I assumed any powder they came out with was going to give me like a really nice dewy complexion. Um, not dewy complexion, but kind of give me something that is more on the side of the Kosas powder, um, which kind of just sets your face and then lets your natural oils kind of come out and doesn't have a matte finish. So that was kind of my initial thought of what it was gonna be. Now let's get into the product. So the Ami Cole powder, how many shades does it have? It has three shades. I got the lightest shade. So I got the shade just translucent because um, I wanted to see if it was truly translucent. And then um, there's also the shade medium deep, which is more of a yellow kind of tone. And then there's a shade called rich deep. Um, and I was so excited to get the translucent shade because like I love a translucent powder. Um, I, I feel like a lot of my powders I've been using lately have not been really as translucent and I really wanted to get something that was translucent in my collection um, that was from them. So I got the tran the translucent shade, which is looks kind of scary when you first are like looking at it because it has like that white shade of like the um, Makeup Forever like HD powder or even the Ilia powder. And you're kind of like, oh no, is that going to end up showing a white cast? But you know what? I trust in Mikola, so it was like, I got to do this. So it kind of comes in this and powder everywhere. I just used it this morning. Um, but you, there, it comes, it has like a stopper here and then you can open it and then it has kind of a bouncy, here we go, a bouncy kind of top. And then the product is all underneath. And I like the component because I can kind of dip in and then put, close it and then put the powder in here and then kind of apply it and not end up having too much on the brush. I like that it's kind of like a play point for me and then I can apply it because I really don't like to apply that, apply that much powder. You know what, let's apply a little bit while we're here. I take a little bit, ooh, that powdered everywhere. Did you see that? Ooh, it took way too much, girl. Am I crazy? All right, do I have a mirror? I do, okay. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my forehead. My hair's looking really crazy today. You guys, it's so windy outside that every time, <clears throat> Ooh, I just got powder in my throat. <coughs> Girl. Every time I try to, um, like, go outside, it's so windy that, like, my... I end up just looking like a crazy person because your hair just gets everywhere and gets so tangled. Um, but yeah, so that is it applied. It's a really, really pretty, I don't apply a lot of powder though, to be fair. And I use a brush like this, which is like a really fluffy brush that is like not dense at all and like lightly applies it. But so this is meant to be more of a matte powder, which I was really surprised by because it just wasn't what I was envisioning. However, I was excited because I figured if they made a matte powder that it wouldn't be super, super drying. Now, let's talk about the powder in general. So again, this is more of a matte finish, but it also has like a natural matte finish. And I don't even know if that's a thing, but a natural matte. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't fully mattify. I mean, you see how it was when I applied it. I still have some dew to my face. Um, in the sense of like, it looks natural. I'm not looking crazy mattified, which is not my vibe ever. My skin does not love to be super matte. Um, I end up feeling super tight 
and just like and like I just end up feeling trapped almost in my own makeup um so I love something that is if it's going to be matte that's fine but it can't be like super super drying matte and I don't find this to be a drying matte which is really really nice now it says that it has kind of like a natural luminosity now I know that someone asked me if it if I was going to compare it to the say beauty powder that has come out recently that is a radiant finish and I will but what I will say about that is this does not have any particles in it at all so let me actually swatch this for you just like the shade so that you can kind of see before I blend it out so I'm going to show you what it kind of just applies like I'm taking such a little bit amount of time here we go so this is what the powder looks like just like on my hands like that scary I know you're like girl what is happening that's not translucent what do you mean but then when you blend it out I'm just going to show you it blends out to be a translucent dream. And the best part about this is even though it's like more of a white powder, it doesn't have flashback. And I feel like that's really important because we've all seen those scary pictures on the freaking carpet where on the red carpet where you see like the they're like um, celebrities under eyes who have been set with like a HD powder or something that's more on the white side or a powder that has flashback. It just shows like a crazy white cast under the eyes. This doesn't do that. I've taken photos in flash um, in a dark room. I've also taken it outside. Like I, I it ends up looking super natural. Um, and I even did something I don't love to do, which is I like baked my under eyes a little bit with it and it didn't feel like it even with baking it that it ended up looking more flash like it ended up looking very like crazy um which because sometimes even if you just set it lightly it's fine but if you bake it ends up looking like a crazy mess this one doesn't do that which is really really nice so this has like a really nice finish to it i actually shockingly really enjoyed the matte finish to it and i feel like this is one of those powders that I'm actually surprisingly going to be grabbing a lot, although it has more of a matte finish because what it does is it, it mattifies me and it definitely keeps my shine at bay, but it still makes me look super natural um, and it doesn't look crazy. And I feel like that is something super rare from a very matte powder or a more matte powder, just because matte powders just tend to be more on that very they almost sometimes can make you look flat this doesn't do that which i really enjoy i also feel like it makes my makeup last really long which is really nice and i've been using it a ton of different ways so i've been using it not only to set my face and it's done a great job at setting my face but i've also been using it to set my lid when i use like um primer if i'm going to be doing like a wing like this what i also have been loving doing is i have been setting not only just setting my lid with it so i will put primer down let's say i'm going to do a wing like i did today i did a wing and it got a eyeliner doesn't always like although it could be a super long lasting eyeliner eyeliner is not going to last super long throughout the day if it's a a nightmare of a pollen escape dream of allergies outside like it's so bad outside right now that i feel like i need the extra ness of like a really good primer so that my eyeliner lasts super long because lately i've been my eyes have been running like crazy let me know if i'm alone on that so i've been setting my um primer with that i've been using the pyt primer which is like one of my favorites setting my powder my um eye with that and then going on with eyeliner which is what i did today and then what i like to do is if i'm using a um a eyeliner that tends to be a little bit more emollient um or i just feel like you know it's going to be again an allergy day my, i'm going to be rubbing my eyes the corner of my eyes are going to be runny i want a little bit more lasting power i will actually take a little bit of this powder and set my eyeliner with it and because it is so translucent it doesn't change the color of my eyeliner which i love and it sets it in place and yesterday I actually told the story in another video. I'm going to tell it again. I was showering and I got in the shower. It, the, the water was super hot. It was super, super steamy. I was just like trying to wash the day off me, like sitting there. You know when you just sit and you just marinate in the heat and you just let the day wash off you and you don't rush at all? Like it was one of those days and um, my eyeliner, my um, mascara was starting to kind of break apart a little bit in the heat and I got out of the shower. Oh my God fuzzies on my face i got out of the shower and my eyeliner was in place it was in it didn't it was still there like it lasted all day and i feel like this this powder 
is the reason for that because if I've done that with other powders, I would have more running. And I feel like I've just like, I've found the perfect way to make my eyeliner last super long, especially in summer. And I'm loving a flick right now. I feel like everyone's really in like a nice, like little flick mood, but it still like adds something to your face. I've been loving it. It's been so good. So this has been not only great for setting my face, but it's also been great for setting my eye looks and all of that. So I've been a really, really big fan and I really like the finish of this. Now let's compare and contrast it, shall we? And now we're going to talk about it compared to other powders. So first, I'm going to talk about this compared to the Kosas powder. This is the Kosas powder. This is the shade Cushiony. Now these powders, although they have more translucent properties i'd say it's not at but it's also not truly translucent it definitely has some pigment with it um so this isn't a true translucent powder however not all, the other shades that they have aren't translucent so i felt like it was fitting for me to compare to a powder like this because you can kind of depending on how little like what type of brush you apply it with if you apply this with a brush like this you get so little pigmentation that comes off but it still sets your face so it really depends on how you're applying it but this one actually is not a mattifying powder at all so that's really the difference there it's also a product that is not a loose setting powder so there's also that um i will also say that this lets my dew shine a little bit more than the ami cole one the ami cole one is again a more mattifying powder although not un like not crazy mattifying um, I still look super natural and my skin still looks like skin. It doesn't look like I have a weird matte filter on me. Um, this one still gives me more of the option where if I set my like, let's say cream blush with it or something like that, the creaminess of the blush will still come through and it won't like it will still look as dewy as it was meant to as when I do it with the Ami Cole, I think that it mattifies it ever so like it, it gives it more of a matte look it'll still look dewy but it won't look as dewy what I will say is I feel like with setting my lid or setting anything like that like I would never set my eyeliner with this I would never set my lid with this because it just doesn't give me what I need whereas the Ami Cole definitely does so they're definitely very different powders the Kosas powder is more of my is it like my everyday powder I grab this ever like all the time I love this powder however the Ami Cole one I've been grabbing in tandem with the Kosas powder and really enjoying it Okay, so next, let's talk about the Ami Cole powder versus the Say Beauty powder, because this is the one I got the most questions on, like, comparing them. So the Say Beauty powder is not necessarily super translucent. Um, it is, but it's not. So this is translucent medium, um, and it, like, blends out to be translucent, but it has a little bit of pigment to it, just ever so slightly. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, and the Ami Cole powder is, like, a true, true translucent. Now, if I swatch them side by side there is definitely a difference here it's going to be so hard to tell because it's powder but the difference here is that the say beauty powder is definitely a radiant powder and you can definitely when you're comparing it to the ami cole powder see a difference there um the ami cole powder will definitely give you everything's dropping left and right will give you a more natural finish and it will still look very pretty and natural um, without it looking super matte but the say beauty powder will give you more of a radiant finish to your skin so that is like definitely the difference here i enjoy both of these powders they both set my makeup really nice i would personally not use the say beauty powder to set my lid or to set my um eyeliner or anything like that i prefer this for all over the face um whereas i feel like the Ami Cole one is a little bit more versatile in the fact that it doesn't really have shimmer in it and because i got the translucent and it's a true true translucent shade um it's just easier for like using it on your lid and stuff like that but they're both great powders um and here i know i'm gonna get a question which one would i grab um since they are definitely very different for me it really is going to depend on the day i like them both equally and i feel like they give me such a beautiful finish to the face um it's really dependent on like what my vibe is that day like do i want to just set let's say my t-zone with the ami cole powder and then the rest of my face with the say beauty powder i've done that and i've loved the way that it's looked it again it's like really dependent on what my skin needs that day or how dewy my makeup is that i'm applying or how dewy my prep is so that's kind of the difference there now let's move on to the range beauty which was my reigning champ for a very long time for setting my lid now the range beauty versus the ami cole setting powder now the range beauty i have the sh shade medium i what i will say is i do feel like the 
um, medium shade in the um, Range Beauty, can I get it together, is a little bit less on the translucent side, like ever so slightly, but it is still a very translucent powder. Um, and they are very, very similar, super finely milled. What I will say is I do feel like the Range Beauty one is actually a little bit less finely milled. If you're just touching it with your finger and putting it on your hand, it feels a little bit, a little bit rougher, like the pieces are a little bit bigger. Um, so I would definitely say the Amie Cole is a little bit more finely milled. Now I don't necessarily, oh my eye is so itchy. Oh my gosh, you guys, my I have, my allergies have been truly killing me lately. I'm dying. Um, I will say I feel like the, the Range Beauty Powder, I like to use less all over my face just because of the finish of it. Um, I prefer the Say Beauty Powder or the Amicole Powder or the Kosas Powder. So this one I like to set my lid with or I like to set my eyeliner with or something like that. However, since I've gotten the Amicole, I've kind of been switching the Range Beauty Powder out for the Amicole Powder and I've been perfectly happy and I feel like it does such a good job. However, the Range Beauty Powder is a beautiful powder. It gives you such a beautiful finish. It makes your makeup last super long. Um, but in terms of consistency, I prefer the other three powders I've mentioned prior. So this isn't necessarily now my favorite anymore. The Amicole has definitely taken its place. Okay, next we're going to talk about the Ilia powder. So the Ilia powder and the Amicole powder are similar because they are both like very white powders. I would say the Amicole one is slightly more on the, has a slight more cream tone to it. However, they are both very much white powders and both of them don't have flashback and both of them um, are very shockingly enough no flashback doesn't show up on dark skin um and is very they are very good translucent shades although they are very white and it kind of is scary they do a very very good job there's definitely a difference here the ilia powder is very much more matte oh jeez oh you guys oh jeez i just got this out of my i have this in a bag for something and it's everywhere. I am, you guys, covered. Covered in powder. Did you see that? I'm covered. It, this is a disaster. If you could only see my pants. If you could only see my pants right now. Just fully covered. Great. Great. I look like... I don't even want to say what I look like, but um, it's not a it's not a good look right now. This is definitely more of a finely milled powder like the Amie Cole one, but I will say I feel like the Amie Cole one is slightly more soft feeling and slightly more finely milled, but not a ton more finely milled, just slightly. Um, and I feel like the Ilia powder has ever so slightly a very light scent to it. Very light, but it is definitely something that I notice. Um, but when I apply it, it like you can't smell it or anything like that. But when you're just kind of well, if you're covered in it, like I am right now, you definitely can notice a slight smell. Um, but it is definitely more of a matte powder than the Amicole one, although they are both matte powders. Um, they're both super blurring. I feel like my skin looks very blurred out when I apply them. I feel like they, my skin looks really nice throughout the day. It definitely gives me a little bit something that these both of them that the say beauty powder and the kosas powder do not which are definitely my top favorites right now um aside from the amicole so both of these definitely give me more of a more of a matte finish although the ilia one is more matte and i feel like the amicole one is ever so slightly somehow more translucent but the ilia one is very very translucent but i just feel like the Amicole, it's not even more translucent. It's the Amicole one almost, depending on how you apply it, with the light hand that I apply, almost blends out ever so slightly better. But they're both basically very much the same side by side. Just the finish is a little bit different because again, the Ilia one is more matte. Um, and my preference right now between the two is the Amicole one. However, if I have a really long event or something where I need to really make sure, what was my time? If I have a really long event or I need something where I need to really make sure that I am looking good all day, I might grab the Ilia one over the Amicole because I do feel like my makeup lasts a little bit longer with the Ilia one. So that's kind of the synopsis there. Um, the Amicole is definitely adding in. It's replacing my Range Beauty one for the moment. Um, 
Still love the Range Beauty one, still really great. However, I'm really loving the way that the Ami Cole kind of sets me up for success with how dewy I have been doing my makeup lately. But I feel like it makes my skin look really, really pretty. I dusted ever so slightly a small amount on. I would apply more, um, but I'm kind of loving the way that my skin is looking right now. But if I wanted to, like at the beginning of the day, I would have applied more than I applied today. But you just kind of dust it on and it just like gives you the most beautiful complexion. Huge fan, huge fan of all these powders. Um, I would love to know down below, which is your favorite powder of all of these, if you have all of them or are you going to grab the Amicole powder? There's definitely a lot of variety and options in here. And I definitely recommend checking out the translucent because I love a translucent powder. And this one is really, really good. and super, super finely milled. and super soft feeling and buttery. Huge fan. And yeah, that is it for my Amicole powder review. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.